to how I trade cheap credit spreads and make $4,000 a month. Now again, what do I mean by cheap credit spreads? I mean credit spreads that are way out of the money because a lot of people think that's picking up pennies in front of a steamroller and yes, maybe it is, but I want to show you how you can make it work in your favor so that you're extra safe when trading credit spreads yet are able to make a lot of money so you offset any losses that are to come. And I'm also at the very end I'm going to show you how I manage my losers so that they're actually not that, that much of a loser at all. Anyways, um, you can see here I've been using this uh, Tasty Trades account for roughly two, almost three months now, and I've had a total PL year year to date of a little over eight thousand um, dollars. So again, you can see here um, that I'm making roughly four thousand to three thousand, or I should say the lower number for three thousand to four thousand dollars a month um, using this strategy. So let me walk you through it and show you how it works. So first off, uh, if you don't know what credit spreads are, credit spreads are a simple way to make a bet on a stock and profit from it. So if I go through here. We go we're gonna say that we have a stock like this a credit spread works where you go okay this stock lo looks like it's moving higher I'm going to set a bet where it means if the stock stays above this level in the next week then I'm going to make money and so again if the stock overall no matter what it does stays above this level in the next week then I make money if not then I lose money that's the general gist of trading credit spreads now what do I mean by trading cheap credit spreads well the closer you are to the stock the more credit you collect when you're trading. Why is this? Well, because a credit spread, think of credit spreads as insurance. What you're doing as a credit spreads trader is you are providing insurance to people who own stock. You're saying, hey, Mr. Stock Owner, if you, if the stock drops below this level, I will actually allow you, no matter where the stock is, the stock could be trading way down here, I will allow you to sell your stock here and I will take this loss for you. So that's what it's saying. I, I will take the loss for you, but you have to pay me a premium. You have to pay me some money to, for me to do this. So again, the further away, let's say the current, let's just say the stock is trading. Okay, let's start here. The stock is trading here. The further away you go from the current stock, stock price, the cheaper the credit spread is or the less you're getting paid to put it on. Why? Well, because the closer to the stock price you are, the higher of a chance that stock has of breaking that level, right? So a credit spread closer to the stock would have a higher credit versus one that's at the very bottom, which would have a very low credit because it's not likely to happen, but people still want to pay insurance for it. So anyways, let's say a credit, a, a credit spread is this close to the current stock price. You could collect, let's say maybe 40 cents. So you collect 40 cents per trade. Cool. But down here, you would collect maybe 15 cents. So you can see the difference here. But again, when we're trading credit spreads, our risk is based off the credit we collect. So when I'm putting on a trade, a credit spread trade that has a 40 uh, cent credit, um, then that means that there are two theoretical values I have. Number one, it means that I have a 60% a chance of this trade making money for me. This is purely the, uh, the, the, theoretical, not back tested. It, I have roughly a 60% chance of winning, but it also means that my risk is 60% or, si or 60 cents. So I have a 60 cent risk with a, with a 40 cent uh, profit potential. Now, the same thing here. If I am going to make 15 cents down here because I'm further away and it's less likely to happen, that means I have an 85% win rate. So that means I'm gonna make money 85% of the time and I'm also going to be risking 85%. These are rough numbers based on um, standard deviation and average performance, blah, 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 blah. But these are the rough numbers here. So you can see here, this is a cheap credit spread. Why? Because I'm only getting 15 cents and I'm risking 85. Versus this is more of a higher price or a higher premium um, credit spread because you have 40 cents and you're risking 60. Now again, what most credit spread traders recommend or people who just like placing them on in general, let's say like the tasty lie type of method would be to collect 33 cents. Again, this is for a $1 wide. Why? Because they want you to collect 30% uh, um, or 33% of the width. So $1 a rough, uh, roughly 30 cents. Anyways, but I was kind of like, hmm, 
let's see if there's an edge here. So what I did was I was like, let's go where most people aren't going, which is to the bottom part. Why do not most people? Why, why do most people not go here? Well, because you're risking a lot of money to make a little money. I was like, hmm, can I put the odds in my favor to bump this 85% win rate up? Right, because if 85% win rate is my is my theoretical return, what's my long-term performance on that? Well, let's see. A long-term performance is the amount of times you're going to win out of 100 trades. So let's say 85. I'm going to win 85, and when I win, I'm going to win 15 cents. But when I lose, I'm going to lose 15 times, and I'm going to lose 85 cents. That gives me a theoretical return of zero dollars. Fun fact: this these all have a theoretical return rate of zero dollars, so it doesn't matter. Um, I can prove it to you. Uh, let's say so we're gonna win 60 uh, times we're gonna make 40 cents when we do um, we're gonna lose 40 times and we're going to make uh, we're gonna lose 60 cents when we do look at zero why because it's just the inverse of each other so we're going to make zero so this is where it comes in how do you give yourself a trading edge if you're roughly gonna make zero dollars long term well the answer is always as always staring us in the face what do the biggest traders institutions banks and hedge funds do they look for trends they either create the trend or they jump on to prior existing trends a trend is a stock that's moving higher and what you do is you see its consistency where the highs are getting higher and then you see the lows are getting higher as well like this and you go wow this dip right here it looks like it's going to move higher i'm going to enter in on this dip and ride that up and not only am i going to do that with a stock but i'm going to do it with a put credit spread so i give myself extra room when you trade with the trend you bump this 85 percent win rate up to 90 percent all the way up to 95 percent depending on the etf you're trading so again you can have you can bump a an 85 percent win rate up to a 90 percent win rate again what is that going to do long term well if you win 90 percent of, of your trades and make 15 cents for every time you do versus you lose 10 and you uh you lose 85 that gives you a five dollar return which again because options are whoops are um a hundred times their credit, you would end up making a $500 return. That is the beauty of trading cheap credit spreads. What can you do? If you trade cheap credit spreads with the trend, you're gonna make money. Why? Because you bump up your long-term rate. Not only that, is your win rate is already high. And you bump it up to 90%, 90-95%. Now you can sleep well at night, you can manage your risk better, you can manage your trades better, and you can generate monthly income. That's how beautiful trading cheap credit spreads are. Now, Austin, cool, but I still, when I lose, I'm gonna have a very large loss, correct? You're gonna win way more times than you lose, but the times you do lose, you're gonna have a greater loss. How do you manage these losers? Well, I've created a video that's how three ways to manage your losers, but my favorite way is to essentially hold the trade, well, actually, there's two ways, but one is hold the trade until expiration date. Again, when you hold a trade until the expiration date, you let theta decay do most of the work. And again, when you do that, then you can buy back or close the trade on expiration day and typically take way less than the max loss. So for instance, the max loss here is 85 cents on expiration day with theta decay and all that work. Let's say it's around 65 cents. Cool, guess what? Now I'm taking a $65 loss instead of an $85, uh, $85 loss, which actually makes my risk reward even better, and that means I'm gonna have a longer term win rate. Now, this um, scenario for managing risk is for if you have five days or less in the trade, but let's say you have more than five days left in the trade. The next best option is to simply close the trade when it crosses your strike. So cross, strike. When it crosses below your strike price. Uh, I can't write with this crosses below your strike price. That means let's say you have your level Let's say the stock trades below it once it breaks this level right here If you have more than five days left in the trade just close it out You're able to close it out around here uh, for roughly 55 cents so again uh, 55 cents um, is going to be your loss, but again, they gave you 15 cents in the beginning So you're not actually losing that much anyways that's kind of how that works. All right, guys, I hope you kind of liked this video, how I trade cheap credit spreads to make $4,000 a month. If you want to be able to do that too, make sure you check out the Inner Circle program below. Um, it's where I give all my alerts and give access to this wonderful platform that help you find cheap uh, credit spread trades that based on the trend historically, running a back test through all these ETFs, 
to have a 90% win rate or greater. You can see here with, with TLT, a 96% historical win rate. This isn't guessing numbers and math. We actually ran the historical performance of it since 2005. You have a 92% win rate, 95, 92, uh, whatever. It shows you how much credit you can collect, like 23 cents, etc. And again, that's how that works. If you want access to that, make sure to click the link down below. If not, I have free resources down below, like Trading Handbook and a free uh, credit spread trades tracker. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe button because I have a lot more videos to show you about how to become a better credit risk trader. All right, guys, see you in the next video.